welcome to the Tourism News Wrap. My name is Jason Amu. Coming up, 2021 WTM Africa goes hybrid. Ethiopian Airlines is CIMG International Airport of the Year, and Accor grows its portfolio in Africa with three properties in Djibouti. The 2021 edition of World Travel Market Africa will go ahead from 7th to 9th April 2021 in the format of a hybrid event, delivering a significant ROI for exhibitors and providing a much-needed platform for live and virtual connection between tourism industry stakeholders engaged in bringing business to Africa and Africa to the world. Carol Weaving, Managing Director of Re-Exhibitions Africa, unpacked the decision taken following a robust study amongst exhibitors and buyers, which initiated strong support for holding a live event in April 2021. She said, We are delighted to be able to inform our industry partners that we will be going ahead with WTM Africa as a hybrid event, incorporating the best characteristics of a live and virtual showcase of Africa. Ethiopian Airlines has been adjudged the Chartered Institute of Marketing Ghana CIMG, International Airline of the Year 2019 at the 31st CIMG Annual National Marketing Performance Awards held over the weekend in Accra. The airline, which played a key role in transporting thousands of visitors from around the world to Ghana for the 2019 year of return year long program, was recognized for its dynamic marketing that puts the passenger at the heart of everything they do. Area manager of Ethiopian Airlines, Yemestrach Ali Mayehu, thanked the organizers of the award for the recognition and stressed that the airline will continue to offer the best of on-ground and on-board service to the traveling public. We will continue to do more to delight our customers. The new Accra Lome New York service, launched in October, presents another fine opportunity for us to do this, she said. The newly opened Radisson O.R. Tambo Hotel in Johannesburg, South Africa, has treated some of the country's top influencers to a special pampa and wellness day at the property. The Pleasure Hotel offered influencers the first-hand opportunity to experience the first upscale Radisson property in South Africa. The day was strongly focused on work-life balance to help influencers and the public understand the value and ethos of the hotel. The social influencers, numbering 14 and including LVMH award winner Thebe Magugu, had a fun-filled day exploring the facilities and interacting with hotel staff. We believe strongly in influencer marketing and we feel proud to rally around esteemed members of the community who are forging the way in business, lifestyle and social media, said the head of marketing and PR, Frances Litton. Accor, a world-leading augmented hospitality group, is expanding its footprint in Africa after signing a management agreement with Kamak Investment to manage its first properties in Djibouti. As part of its ongoing development strategy to expand its presence in sub-Saharan Africa, Accor is setting foot for the first time in Djibouti with the launch of three hotels under three different brands, namely Pullman Living, Novotel and M Gallery. The group is partnering with Kamai Investments. Initially created as a real estate agency, the founder, Hussein Mahamdoud Roblet, diversified his business activities over the years to cover different industries including security, maintenance, temporary work and the press. An African carrier, Askai Airlines, has launched daily flights from the airlines hub of Nyasingbe Iyadema International Airport in Lome to OR Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg, South Africa. The seven times daily flight will depart Lome at 12.30 and arrive at the OR Tambo International Airport at 18.30. Ghanaian passengers will be able to connect with a 35-minute flight connection from the Kotoka International Airport. The flight ASB245 departs Accra at 10.45 and arrives at 11.10, one-hour transit time at the airport and jets off at 12 to Johannesburg. The Johannesburg flights operate daily and non-stop from Lome with immediate connection for passengers traveling from Accra with an extra baggage allowance for all passengers traveling between now and December 31st. The airline said promotional fares available for economy passengers, all taxes inclusive are one-way, 
$383 and return $500. The Lufthansa Group has hinted that its subsidiary unit, Eurowings, will operate five times a week flight to Namibian capital Windhoek from March 2021. From 28th March 2021, the airline will start a scheduled five times a week passenger service from Frankfurt. This latest development will mean an addition of two flights to the existing schedule. Flight days for Frankfurt Windeck are planned to be Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. There's more news on www.voyageafrique.com and all our social media platforms. My name is Jason Amu.